happen overnight. So 100 days felt doable. It felt like a goal that was attainable that you could reach without, again, without overwhelm. Let's do a few more questions. Oh, Klaus, why did you bleach your hair? Do you want to match Alexa? Absolutely. Yeah, he just wanted to have hair like that. Absolutely. Blondes, <laughs> blondes have more fun, okay? And, and blondes with roots are even cooler. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Addison, she goes, same. I never read, but this book is the exception. Come Thank on, you so much. Let's so go. Rad. So rad. Um, hey, Alexa, could you please talk a little about your journey mm. with people pleasing? Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. I feel like we've come such a long way when it comes to Do people pleasing. Say, I know I was, but I have to say, having the one cheek on, one cheek off was kind of like killing well, me. We, there's only one chair in this hotel room. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, let me see. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm, I'm, th I'm thankful for your big cheeks. Are you it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. We're married. He can say that. Fine. Um, we both have fallen into people pleasing a lot in our lives. That's something that we really do struggle with um, or have struggled with. We're not as bad anymore, but I would actually say the person I people please with the most is Carlos. And for no reason whatsoever, I'll find myself tiptoeing around him. And I actually, it's, it's one of the things I literally just wrote about it again. I have to post it. Um, but it was one of the challenges of like, again, what do I have to give over to God? And, um, it goes back to like that self-worth and, I just know how hard he works for our family. I know how much he does. So for me to go, okay, I know I have X, Y, and Z to do, but I also know how much Carlos works. So I can't have him take the kids or I can't put any more workload on him because uh, he's already doing so much. So I'll just go ahead and not necessarily like suffer, but I'm going to use the word suffer or I'll go ahead and put my plans or my feelings aside so that I don't, you know, have to cause him to not do what he wants to do but at the end of the day like if god is putting something on my heart or if i'm being called to do something why would i not team up with my husband and say hey take your babies for a little bit i need to go work on x y and z or i need to show up for this person in my life um because we're a team and i think those that's a little way that the enemy can um sneak into your thoughts is allowing people pleasing to take over thinking i'm serving him but really i'm doing a disservice to our relationship I'm, and I'm, to myself i'm a huge people pleaser yeah we got to get over that we got to get over it because like we know it we know we struggle the, we've gotten a lot better the, though. the amount of time you know what and I, I had a great conversation with my brother javi uh last shout out week. to javi the wisdom that he uh, has right now but um Man, the amount of times that I say, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I'm like, he's like, dude, stop. What, what, are, you what, what are you apologizing for? for? I'm like, I don't know why I'm apologizing. Because um, we mean it, but we say it. And yeah, I know. Like, I, I've been trying to catch myself over the last couple of days. And I'm just like really trying to be aware. Of like, why am I? Why am I? I I'm, I'm so sorry. And it's like, he's like, what? what for why? For why? What did you why, do? why are you sorry? <laughs> um, let's see. -bum -bum. Let me see. -bum -bum. Thank you for Thank everybody you for all these donate donating, donating to Maui. This is awesome. You guys are so rad. Hey, uh, we have some some Instagram lives going here. For those of you on on Instagram right now, we are on Talk Shop, Talk Shop Live. Live. The link is in my bio. Uh, but um, we are talking about our new book that uh, is out called Love Is the Point. That's and if if you want to order a signed copy, you can literally go on there, and we're just chatting and. Yep. If, if you don't want to order a copy, that's okay. We're literally just hanging out and having a good time. And here. there's also a great donation button to uh, donate to the families of Lahaina. Yeah. Um, I, and I think the Upcountry Fire as well. Yeah. Um, so just to all of Maui. And if you if, if, if you want to see for yourself uh, what uh, – I'm like switching to all these, all cameras. these cameras. If you want to see uh, just you know what happened on Maui and, and like all the families, we have a website called loveisthepoint.org. And you, and you can go on there and it's literally... And we're still adding families yeah. every day. You know, we're just, we're, we're literally verifying the families going on there and you, you know, there's, you know, photos and stories. And if you want to just donate to them directly, uh, you can. This has nothing to do with us. This is us just trying to help all these people. So, so awesome. yes. Oh, so awesome. shout out to Michael. Michael, Michael right McDonald. Now, What's up, bro? McDonald. Let's go. We love you. Bible project, Thank baby. You. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, if you guys want something that will change your life, truly the Bible project changed my life. I feel like so many of the nuggets that I have learned and that have like gotten me so excited about reading the Bible came from the Bible project team, yeah. like between their podcast, the animated, um, things that they put out, they are just, they're incredible. They're incredible. Phoebe wants to know how long we've, we've been married. We are going to be married 10 years. How exciting. Very soon. We've been together almost oh, 11. Almost 11. And then in December, it'll be 10 years married. But everybody thinks it's January, we, but we, we actually got married in December. 
we, we met November 8th. Right. Right? Yeah. So we're like doing the math. So, so okay, November 8th will be 11 years. Questions. Okay. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways. Okay. A few more uh, questions. Um, oh, th- hi, this is a good guys. one. Sky says, this question is really important to me. How do you learn to accept God's love for you when you don't have that love for yourself? Mm. Well, I think the biggest thing is just be in prayer, talking to him. Um, Because, listen, the enemy loves to whisper that you are not worthy, you are not good enough. All these lies that do not come from God at all. But I really do feel like the more, and sometimes scripture can be hard to read for people. So I always say, find a version of the Bible that you can read. Start with that. And as you grow, you know, you can move to different versions that kind of are closer to the original text. Um, but when you start reading these verses, it really will like pour into your heart because the word is true and it speaks to your heart and seeing what God says about his children and how he feels about you and how he knit you together in your mom's womb and how he like cares about you. He can name every hair on your head. Like when you really start seeing what God actually says about you, you come to life. But this is a daily reminder. It's not something that you can learn one time. I would say this is an awful analogy, but a pastor once said it. So I'm going to use it. I'm curious. Um, um, But like when people get drunk, which you should never get drunk, but when people get drunk, you don't just get drunk one time and stay drunk forever. If you were to get drunk, you would have to literally drink constantly to stay in that drunken state. Well, it's the same thing. You don't just read the Bible one time and then you're filled up and then you're done. You have to continue to fill yourself up to be in that holy space. So just like something can be like toxic, in order for something to really change your life and help complete you, you have to stay in it. So that's why I always tell people like if something is toxic, you got to get out and into something that will actually bring you life. So if you can get into the word or get into a small group or get it, get into a community that will actually lift you up with their words and encourage you and also help like break down any of those lies that the enemy's feeding into you, that is where you're going to grow and you're going to thrive. But community is such a major major impact on that and it took us a long time to find community we know it doesn't happen overnight but um but i would highly suggest like a small group to hold you accountable and to have that most you know, community to fall yeah. back on okay let's do two more questions okay perfect how about we do three questions okay i'm gonna find one on talk shop live i'm gonna find one on my ig and and then on your instagram i love it so here we go um do so many people hire guys you guys are all awesome this is so cool. so cool Ah, uh, oh! By the way, Tori Spurlock was saying hi. What's hi, up, Tori? Hi, Tori! Oh my gosh, we and, haven't seen you. And so we're long. praying for you, Tori. So amazing. Um, let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna go through here. As Someone well. says, <laughs> "Can we expect another book?" Well, I mean, hopefully that would be yeah. great. So we're just like, I love you guys talk with your hands so much. We we're are. Latinos. <laughs> we're Latinos. We talk with our hands, people. bro. Let's go. <laughs> You're lucky we're like stuck on one chair because we would be all over the place yeah. if we weren't. How's the cheek doing? I Go have ahead. my Go one, my no, one no, butt over, cheek on over. this chair. Come on, my cheeks are smaller. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, okay. so crazy. Thank you for the donations, guys. Oh my gosh, love it, love it, love it. I'm trying to pick a, I'm trying to pick a good one. Somebody was talking about how they're not Christian, but they're actually Jewish. But they were very inspired this, by this book, okay. and that's what I, that's what I love is that. This book really can work for anybody and everybody. And ultimately it comes down to like, we see so much division in the world today and not that you shouldn't be working on yourself. I feel like you should be working on yourself, but we're so self-focused, especially because of social media that we, we are not fulfilled. We're lost. We're kind of like going, what, what can we do to feel more fulfilled? And the second you start focusing on other people and how to serve other people, because I really believe that we were all called to be servants and serve one another, you finally feel fulfillment. Like, doesn't it feel so good when you give somebody a gift and they love it? Because you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. I did that for them. Well, when you start showing up for people and showing them love and creating that that unity, that communal spirit, you are just, you suddenly have purpose. Your life has meaning. And any sort of depression, any sort of frustration, any of that self focused feeling kind of gets brushed off your shoulder and your life really does become meaningful. So I really feel like even though self-help is important, the more like people help we can give, the more alive you become. Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. You know, trying to... <laughs> you know, remember when I was driving that guy 
to the airport. Yes. This guy was like, he he ended up being on Maui and needed a ride to the airport. And this is like a billionaire. Like, the guy's got a lot of money. And I was like, I'll take you. Like, sure. And I'm like, dude, I'm in a car with this guy. He's like, I got to ask you questions. He's a billionaire. I'm like, I just want to ask him questions. Like, how often do you, like, if I could d- get 10 minutes with Elon Musk, like, I, I have so like, many I have questions. I so many questions. <laughs> and I... And and I asked him one. I mean, a, a, a lot of questions. I drove very slowly. I was like, I was like, oh, wait, hold on, you drive very slowly anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I drove grandpa super, over super here. slowly. Jeez. And I asked him, and I said, so like, how'd you do it? Like, how'd you even get there? How'd you become a billionaire? Like, this is crazy. And he looks at me, and he's like, you know, I sat myself down one day, and I said, I need to solve a billion people's problem, problems. I was like, just like the best advice. I was ever. like, are you kidding me? I was like, so literally this guy was not like, I need to make a million dollars. He was like, I want to solve a billion people's problems. How do I help people? How do I help people? And one thing led to another and a company this and helping, 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 helping. And now he's like doing, I just, it's, it's so cool to me. And that, and, and that has always stuck with me. So like, again, it's, it's not about the money. It's not about the recognition. It's like, it's not even about how you. Do, how, yeah. Okay. Like, how do we? How do we help people? And, and I really feel like for us, like, like I said, this book, buy it, don't buy it. Wait, it's, <laughs> it's all good. For us, this was just, this is just another way that we feel like God is speaking through us to you guys, to everyone in, in, in the world. And it's, you know, let's, let's just show the world love because yep. the world needs love. And if you guys want to get the book, you can here on Talk Shop Live. <laughs> And it's it, a great gift book, guys. And, and we'll sign it. And uh, it's, a, it's a great gift book. And if you don't, uh, keep following us on all our social medias, Instagram, Twitter. Um, our, our YouTube is finally yes. going. Yes, to the vlog. A new, a new episode every Friday, 6 o'clock. It's going to be great. Um, it's called La Vida Pena Vega. Uh, and, and we're about two years behind on the vlog. So, <laughs> no, no, no. It's great. It's great because that, that means you have tons of content and that we're not going to miss a week. And we just are going to be... Super, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you're consistent. I wasn't listening Super to you. consistent. Sorry, I was okay. Looking for a final All right. Question. Find your final question over there. I'm gonna find uh, a, a question on this IG right here. Just have to show them all love. Um, show everybody some love. Ah! And thank you to Talk Shop Live for having us again for a fourth time. You guys are the best, and you guys make it uh, so so fun and. Thank you for all the donations to to, awesome. uh, you know, to to Maui. To Maui. So I like this one. This one says, um, "Oh, hold on." Okay, I got one you too. Go because mine. Okay, away. someone says, "What if you're single? How do you find that right person for you? How can God help me through this?" Okay, what's up? What up? So, hold on. There we go. For, first and foremost, and I kind of thought this. I kind of came up, with, not came up with this, but it kind of came to me the other day. Love is in the details, right? Mm -hmm. So when you are um, dating someone, court them. Mm -hmm. Regardless if you're the male or the female either. Like like Alexa and I, I was so enamored by her that I literally was like, what can I do for you? How can we hang out? Like I just wanted to get to know her. And obviously, you know, there are other things that come with a relationship. We just kept those on the side. For a long time. And I, 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 I really feel like getting to know her in other ways and feel like, like I wanted to know the details of like, hey, so like do you – when you brush your teeth, do you like let like all the stuff like kind of like <laughs> get out of your mouth? Or, or are you a clean brush your teeth person, right? Well, I'm a clean one. I used to be the guy that would like let it all hang out. Really? Yeah. Now I'm clean. But again, all these little things like – I want to know all about a person. And, 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 okay, so back to your question. You're single. How do you find that right person? I was always wanting to be in a relationship. And I, I jumped you from. You had like a fear of being I, alone. I, was, I jumped from one to the other. I've apologized to all those girlfriends. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that just, that was you wrong. You did. You, you really but, did. But I had a summer where I was alone and it was really hard. And, um, you know, I, I met Alexa and it's all in our first book that we did. I met Alexa right after I gave, I gave my relationship goals to God. I said, Hey, you know what, God, I'm done chasing women. I want to chase you. Mm. And when, when you're ready for me to have a woman, I'll be ready because I'm going to be in a way better place. And it was, 
I mean, I, I, I love to say it was that day, but it wasn't. It was that next week. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was literally but it was. three days later or four days later. But it was. But I literally had to surrender that, like, I need a woman. I need a relationship. I need this. I need, 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 need. And God was like, how about you seek me first? Yeah. And then I'm going to help you out. Yeah. And look, it made, like, I got lucky. Like, God, like, I found her a week later and then I was like, yo, that one. But maybe <laughs> it's, maybe it's less, maybe it's a month. Maybe it's a year. Yeah. All I'm saying is love is in the details and seek God first and then that will come. And everybody who we've met who truly seeks God first, they Everything end up, really I mean, I mean, look, look, look at my brother, Javi. Yeah. He, he, he came, like, this guy has done a 180 and he is so fun to be around and I love him so and he's much. he's so wise. He's like, truly and he's just giving us so many wisdom nuggets. He, 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 he went after God's heart and God was like, okay here's a great partner for you. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So now he's got this girl and it's amazing. So anyways, I hope that helps. Oh, let's go. You know what? I think you, I think you have killed it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Cause I know sometimes this stuff can be, um, maybe intimidating to yeah. talk about. Cause it's stuff that's really meaningful for us and important. Like when we're able to talk about movies, when we're able to talk about, you know, like that other kind of entertainment side, it's very easy to talk about. But when it comes to, God, when it comes to our faith, we're very passionate about this, but it's also scary because we don't want to lead people in the wrong direction. We don't want to give the wrong advice and we have to be careful with our words. And, and by no means sure. are we saying that, that, that what, what we're saying is the way we, this is just our experience. And I don't know. I, I mean, well, I, like, when, like <laughs> for me, for me personally, this, like God has changed my life. So all I can do I share with right. people what he has done. In, right. In but I'm saying so some people may We're disagree and say, no, 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 no. I'm like, hey, look, I'm just telling you what my life experience has been and whether, whether you agree with it, whether you want to try it out, whether it's fine. You know what? Do the challenge guys. Just do, do the, the challenge, challenge and see what happens to your heart. Do the challenge. I really so, feel like your heart can't not change. And, and, and challenge. look, if you don't have a spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, and you're alone and you just want to do, this is totally fine. Yeah. It really is going to help you just dive in and, and, uh, do a little, a little soul searching. It's and like I said, love is in the details. So until you, until you start ironing out those details, yep. you know, yep. We love you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for people who joined in on Instagram. And thank you for everybody who joined in here on Talk Shop Live. Uh, for those of you who are on Instagram, if you want a signed autograph copy of our book, go to Talk Shop Live and that is where you can order one. But love you guys. Much Hope love. Hope you enjoyed this. Oh, yeah. Much love. God bless. If you watch and our vlogs, always. you know what this is. Much love. God Job. bless. And as always, job job labor. Labor. we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah. Mwah. Love you all. Bye. Bye, Instagram. Bye, Instagram. <laughs>